Ah, the clinic. This is supposed to be the place that I heard we get the ability to use the blink. Oh, it's a parts drawer. All miscellaneous. Download Brain from Coma Board A. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got an oxygen meter. Oh, we're in space. Well, that's cool. There's a a lot of planets around here, or moons, or whatever they are. Okay, so what do we have? We don't have the launchers, so don't need to worry about that. We do have an auto case. Ah, I guess we have no sound. Because space... Almost no sound. <laughs> yeah, that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> Glad it didn't insta-kill me. Self-contained breathing equipment. Enjoy that midgy oxygen. Feel that midgy feeling. So you can just get it whenever you want. Put it back in here whenever you want. Okay. Two turrets up there. Out of service. This lift has been taken out of service. The use of this lift would violate chapter blah blah blah. It is illegal to remove this seal. Button doesn't even work anyway. Dear God, this bathroom. It's terrifying. I would not go in here. Hey, buddy. Welcome in. Welcome in. Make an honest moral inventory of yourself. Okay, thanks. I should probably look at this. So lobby is where I'm at right now, I think. Space buoy. And I'm supposed to go to Coma Ward A, download the brain. Okay. Ah, observation nook. And the colors are so intense. So a place like this would be a place I could put an auto case. Push. Okay, so if I shot that, it would probably open it. Yeah. I think so. But that's for Coma Ward C, which I don't need right now. Oh, 
God, don't break the glass. Wanted to see if throwing something at it would activate it. I'm pretty confident shooting it would work. Ah, I see. Okay, it's going to have to be our little buddy, I think. Or is it? Maybe I can put my auto case in here, can I? Mm. No. I think of shooting that button. Would this be able to reach it? Like, this might be too high up. It gets really high. I don't think that would work. Maybe the little buddy would be able to jump into it? Possibly? I don't know. Um, let's try the aimbot. Oh no! I feel like that stayed a lot further down than it did before. Maybe it just knows to stay where it's most useful. <laughs> I'm not going to bother setting up the CCTV. Is it going to stay open? Well... I'll take this and leave the auto case there so I can open it from the shoot it from the inside if I need to. Why would I need to? I could just press the button. Is it their brain I need to download? They look very old. Oh no. Brain box. Objective complete. Pair programming. Objective Download Brain from Coma Ward B. Press both buttons simultaneously. Oh, that's the pair programming thing. So I probably need the auto case for this. Or. Or I could just press them both pretty fast. <laughs> or just, I mean, I have two hands. Theoretically, I could just use both my hands. That was easier than I thought. Oh, do I have two auto cases? No. How do I hit those both at the same time? Can it fire fast enough to do that? Maybe. I could pro program it in to move and then fire immediately after firing the first time. No, well, I guess it's got to be that. 
this is going to be fun. Cam zoom 20. Seven. Yeah, that's good. Turn minus one. Minus two. That's about right. Turn zero point two. Yeah. Pitch point five. Perfect. Okay, so um, let's see exactly how much we have to move to the right. Turn 20. Oh, nope, too much. Turn minus 20. Turn 8. Too much. 5? Not enough. 6. Yeah, 6 is good. Okay. So we're going to fire... Turn six, fire. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, it does actually do fast enough. Didn't I already download your brain? They look exactly the same. <laughs> Maybe my memory is just terrible. Object incomplete. Come on, buddy. Oh, you can actually pocket the shells. Leave no evidence. Smash and grab. Yeah, that's going to be where I need to go to the observation thingy. So let's go to the observation nook and then I guess I'll just set it up here and uh, I'll have to take the deck with me. Yeah. And I won't need the CCTV. Deploy. Turn to... Yeah, it's on it. That's good. Although I kind of want it to be in the center. There, I think it's literally in the green. Okay. I'm going to leave my suit on, by the way, even though I don't need it in here, just so I don't have to deal with it getting out, because I'm probably going to have like 10 seconds. Or no seconds, maybe. <laughs> Rain and steam in... Eevan. Eevan? Quarantine. I'm going into a quarantine patient's room. That's not good. Sounds great. Let's go. I don't hear any alarms. Oh, wait a minute. Right, I broke that open. That means we're just exposed to space. So this patient is just still sleeping peacefully? Maybe it's part of their condition why they're quarantined. All right.
New cat. Blink. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited by this. This has so many nice possibilities. Blink quick start. Type blink. Blink to exit aimbot deploy. Exit deck and blink two times. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. Although let's just make it one blink. Blink one. Exit. Aimbot. Deploy. So the purpose of the exit and then going into the aimbot is just to make sure even if you're in something else like Telnet, it'll always exit you out and then put you into aimbot. So we'll always put you into aimbot no matter what. Haha! <laughs> Close. So if I do blink... Close. I'm curious. If I take my deck and don't leave my deck deployed, will it still work? Yes! Yeah, and it tells you exactly what executed at the top of the screen. Cool. Um, let's do a little bit more testing with this. So within the aimbot, let's deploy it. Uh, let's say blink. I'm thinking, is there any need to like, I, I guess in every case it would be safer if I exited and then went into the aimbot first, but just for the sake of not typing as much, let's just do blink once turn one. Yeah. And then blink twice. Oh, it's in like insert mode. Can I disable that? Oh, there we go. I press the insert button on my keyboard. Um, blink two, turn negative one. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. <sighs> Morning carpool. 6 a.m. They didn't wake up from that? Damn, deep sleeper. <laughs> Just writing... I think C++ code on a chalkboard. One of these days, I'll find something in a drawer. Sorry. Looking stylish. Poncho. Journeyman study of electrical science. Annoying my neighbors. Hold, hold on. 
another knocking, but... Jalopy chili. Huh. I know. Valencia Villa. <laughs> Job Timber Big. Acquire the loft vault. all going around on a conveyor belt kind of thing. Why? It's kind of neat, I guess. How do I reach that data jack? Do I have to ride the flower pots? I'm also curious about something. Oh, hey, that's new. I can just place a lantern in the world. Doesn't provide much light when it's on the ground. That was the only one of that I had. I should take it. So we have stick, sticky notes, music, now a lantern. We have one launcher. One auto case. And a weevil. Little buddy. Okay, I want to check something out. Let's just see again what's available to us to do. Beep, break color. Oh, right, I can change the color of the output terminal. It must have reset at some point, though. It's been like this for a while. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's fine. That's alright. Um... Yeah, let's Telnet again. What's available within Telnet? Batch. Create batch call of multiple commands. What is that? Batch. File name and then the commands. Create a batch call of multiple commands. Hmm. And then... And then what? Like... And that's only within Telnet. That's a Telnet command, not just a general computer command. How... Uh, how'd I use that? Like... Batch... Uh... Custom batch... One... Uh... Door one dot open for three seconds? I don't know what use that'd be, because most of the time it's not going to be door one. Batch file created. To run batch file, type custom batch one dot bat. Yep. <laughs> Not found. And then... Can I just, like, delete it? Can I look at a list of batch files that I have? Doesn't say anything like that. Hmm... Nothing in the directory? Oops. Durr. Okay, it's in the main directory. So does that mean it's not specifically a Telnet thing? That it's just anything? So at this point I could delete... custom batch one dot bat. Hold on, there is a delete, isn't there? Oh, it's just Dell. Okay, so if we go back into Telnet and we do batch, batch1, 
and then we do a command like telnet batch one dot bat it did run telnet so yeah even I, I don't quite understand why batch has to be run within telnet but then it can do non telnet things huh so that could be that could be what like what could I use that for that would actually be useful door one dot open that's not useful <laughs> I don't know, let's just see if a situation comes up where I think, hey, I gotta type a bunch of commands that I'm gonna need to type a bunch of times. Mm, yeah. I could also have Blink's trigger batch files, probably. I wouldn't allow me to do anything I couldn't just do with the Blink itself, but could save me some time, I guess. Turn lasers somewhere off. Oh, only for a second. So I need to get that vault in there. It only opens the tiny tops. This is probably related to the second job, though. Hmm. Is that going to stay open? Yes. Okay, so I just need to shut the laser off. On a delay? I guess. Hmm. I hmm. Maybe a weevil up here. Maybe Nell. I didn't see anything up here. Maybe Nell on the flower pots? Could it go on the flower pots without falling? Oh no, Nell! Stay sturdy, my friend. Yeah. I think that's gonna work. Oh, and this would be a good use of the blink, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so... Um... Exit... Weaver... Connect... Nell... One... And able to find CCTV monitor. That's not a problem though, right? I mean, we don't... Need it. I don't think. I don't think we need it. So we're going to blink once to, well, let's just be safe and say we exit and then we go to Weaver and then we go to, no, we don't need all that. Connect also? No, 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 no. Let's just do data jack zero. It's probably going to be option zero. Let's make sure it works. Let's wait for it to get back up there. Okay. 
Yes, does work. Okay, just gotta wait for it to come back around. Here we go. Oh. Eh. 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 Okay, we're good. Thanks, Nell. The woodworm. Acquire the library vault. Yeah, this is the lower one now. So yeah, can I just chuck Nell in there? <laughs> Buddy! Laser grid control entryway, it's a push button. Hmm. Oh, I think I see what to do. I'm sorry, Nell. I'll, I'll get you a little bit later. I think I need to use the auto case up here to shoot through the open spot. Maybe? Oh, right. We have a lantern. I mean, a uh, launcher. The fact that I have it kind of implies that I probably need it, but I had one the last one and didn't need it, so maybe not. Is that going to be at the right angle to even be able to hit it? Let's see. Aimbot. Deploy. I don't know, maybe. Oof, that's not a good place. Connect one. Uh, cam zoom 10. Whoa. Oh, that's fine. Pitch negative 5. Yeah, we're going to be able to hit it. Cam zoom. Let's go all the way in. Yep. Should be good. So let's do blink once for fire. So cool. Hey, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Sorry I threw you in a window for no reason. So I could just keep doing that, huh? Yeah. To think I could read every single title here. Truth Bassoon. Sad Bun. The Happy Dog. Dog Delusions. Cat Science. Thinking Like a Cat for Great Success. Hot Dog Sheila. 
A lot of dog and cat books. I like that. I respect that. Whoa. What a way to open. Hmm. I think I have enough time to do it. Ideally, I would have... assigned a command to hit the other one. Which I totally could do. Let's go do that. Let's say... Uh... Hmm. How much do I need to pitch? That just about hits it, so 0.7 should do it. Yeah. So pitch, negative 0.7. I'll put us back to the old one. Yes, okay. So we already have the blink once, that's good. Um. Yeah, so we'll do blink twice for pitch. 0.7. This is only... Hmm. I'm just thinking this is only going to work once. Am I going to need this to get out? Or is this going to be a... Is this going to be a problem? Um... I, I can make so... I can make this so that it's repeatable. I just have to switch around to blink once to something else. So this is always going to... With two blinks, it's always going to go up to hit the upper button. Um, there is also a set position. There's the set absolute position, but I don't know if I want to type all those numbers in. The X and Y and stuff. So let's just say it's this. It pitches up and then fires. And blink once will pitch down. And then fire. The issue with that is that I need to make sure I always do one and then the other and then one and then the other. Otherwise it's going to get out of sync. But that'll be fine. So right now it's at the top, so I need to f fire twice. Need to fire twice. Need to fire twice. Or blink twice, I mean. Wait. Shit. I'd hit the top button. Twice moves up, one goes down. Sorry, I just really confused myself. Twice to go back up. That's not aiming at the right spot anymore. Okay, twice will make it hit this one. What? Oh, right, it just hit one of the things in the way. Oh, that- okay, okay. Okay, this is a clusterfuck. <laughs> it works... 10% of the time every time. Did I even need to come up here? Because the library is downstairs. The map shows the fault as being... Like, right... Here? Is there like a book I pressed? Aha! Whoa. 
Object incomplete. Note to self, my system for shooting between two buttons sucks. Absolutely sucks. Let's take the evidence. <laughs> Am I really going to take these all? I guess I'm committed. This one. Some lucky bystander can have. Man, the payment for that job is 7,000. Master Wiggle? Master Wiggle. Doesn't quite fit on the screen. Gray contract, jungle rules. This agreement constitutes the entire understanding of the parties. 50,000? Acquire the bedroom vault. Well, this will be an opportunity to use the absolute positioning, won't it? So let's try this. Lasers on the right spot at the bottom. Get position. So then we can do... Uh, blink one set position. Oh. Set position. XYZ, so 200, 174, negative 188, and then fire. That should work. Now we gotta do it for the other button. Oh no, it was like 0.7, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go up. 0.1. Yeah. Get position. Okay. So. Now it's going to be blink 2. Set position 200. 174. Minus 181. Now. Let's see if this works. Holy shit it works. Although it looks like the um, positioning isn't as accurate, it looks like it is integer. What? Oh, I hit it twice in a row, so it was off for more than three seconds, that triggered an alarm. Shit. Oops. That is so cool. That works so much better than my shitty system. Uh, okay, so what am I supposed to get here again? Bedroom. Vault. Ah, the vault is in. Ah, uh, uh, there's a wall switch in one of these plants. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we should be fine. To save. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I think all our friends might be dead, though. Are they? Hmm. 
No, they're okay. But we kind of lost everything. <laughs> but given how much we just should have gotten paid for that job, we could probably rebuild, right? Oh, are we going to burn this place? Yep. Light it up. Whoa! Multi-sim primer, what? This is gorgeous! This is such a better place than before. Contract termination. Skip this mission. Oh, no. No, no. down. Whatever. Team Tutorial 1. Get the three magic keys. Caser, the engine, engineani, the greaser. Business registration certificate. <laughs> oh, this is where the birds spawn. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> This'll do. <laughs> A jump. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to do the multi-sim primer. <laughs>